Hello, it's Charlotte and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. I am a Squarespace SEO expert and in this video, we are going to be talking all about the map insert on your Squarespace website. And I'm gonna be telling you what role, if any, it has in SEO. So in other words, does the map insert help with SEO on your Squarespace website? And we're gonna answer that. But if you haven't already, take a look at some of the other videos about um, Squarespace SEO or web design and development, online marketing and business that I have on my channel because there's so much content to help you out no matter where you are in your Squarespace SEO journey, whether you're a beginner or someone who's dabbled a little and wants to improve other areas. So let's get back to today's video topic, which is all about the map insert. So if you don't know what that is, I'm going to show you. I'm going to also demo it on the back end of a Squarespace website. So let's sit tight. I'm going to share my screen and walk you through this. Um, there we go. Share screen. Let's go. Okay, before we begin, I do want to tell you that I have a Squarespace SEO checklist that is free to download, and I will leave the link to it just in the description below. But this Squarespace SEO checklist has been downloaded by thousands of people at this, thousands and thousands of people at this point. And whether you are an absolute beginner learning about Squarespace SEO for the first time, you don't know where to start, or maybe you've been at this a little while and you've, you know, dabbled, but you don't know if you've done it correctly, you might be missing something, then this Squarespace SEO checklist will kind of give you a really good overview of what's involved in SEO on your Squarespace website. So grab a look at this, take a peek, um, you know, plunk it next to your desk, work your way through everything and you'll get started. So now let's talk about the map insert. So here we go. I have um, a very basic contact page created on a demo website for a fake company. As far as I know, coastal construction does not exist. It's fake, okay? This is just a demo website for purposes. And in this case, I'm showing you on Squarespace 7.1, but if you're on version 7.0, it's basically going to work the same, okay? So see here, this is a map block in Squarespace. So how I got to here is basically if you click on that little plus sign, um, you can see there's, if I type in or something, there's map. So I would click on that and then you can add in the information. So what I did to pull this up was I literally just am using the address for demo purposes of a Starbucks in Santa Cruz, just you know, to show you for something, but this is what I'm doing. But if you have a physical location for your own business or brand, maybe you have a studio, an office space, a store, whatever it is, um, you can add this. So for example, using this map block now on the contact page, let's talk about the SEO value that it could have. So let's say you did not have this map block and all you did was you had like just the text of the address and stuff. Again, that is good for SEO. Google will crawl and index your page and the website as a whole and see that you have the physical location through the address in the text. That is great, right? We love that. But one thing you can do to, again, add value to this page, make it even better and stronger and really like underline and emphasize to Google what your address is, where you're located, the local area that you're trying to reach or serve is by adding this map block because it repeats the content but shows it and presents it to Google in a different way, a different format, right? We're having it with the text, the address, but then also the same address is repeated in the map block. And ideally, it's the same address that you're also using when you filled out a Google business profile associated with your Squarespace website. And if you're like, Charlotte, what's a Google business profile? Don't worry, I'm gonna link up above to a video and you can watch that to make sure that you're filling that out properly too. So once you have your address now in those three places, text on the contact page, a map on the contact page, and also the same address you're putting on your Google business profile, now it can have added SEO benefit when Google comes and crawls and indexes your Squarespace website. So I'm not saying that by adding a map block, all of a sudden you're going to come to the very top of Google's rankings, but this is something you can do to improve your ranking and how you perform in online search. So if you have a physical location that you see customers at, you want clients to come to, anything like that, 
then you can consider adding a map block to the contact page of your website or like, I mean, anywhere else on your website, but the contact page is probably the most common spot that people will put this. And yeah, add it. It's really simple and it can have a positive effect on SEO for your overall Squarespace website. So that's it for today's video. Nice and short and sweet, but there you have it all about the map block on your Squarespace website. And you've seen now that what it is, but also the impact it can have for Squarespace SEO. It might not be a life changing thing that you do from an SEO point of view, but it can have a positive impact and improve your overall performance. So if it's applicable to you, I say, why not go for it? Before you go, I would love it if you, again, grabbed a copy of that Squarespace SEO checklist that I've linked to down below. And if you like this video, if you found it helpful or useful, or if you learned something, then you can like the video. You can leave me a comment down below, um, giving me some feedback, or if you have any ideas of other video topics you want me to talk about, whether it's related to Squarespace SEO, web design and development, online business and marketing, anything like that, I'd love to hear from you. And thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you again soon in the next one. Okay, that's it, bye.